Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth at ngayon pag-uusapan natin yung pangalawang method sa pagsasolve ng order 1 differential equations which is involving homogeneous equations. But first, let us define yung ilang terms na kailangan natin for this discussion. Una, homogeneous polynomials, these are polynomials all whose terms are of the same degree. So, dapat lahat ng terms pare para yung degree. For example, we have function of x and y, we have x cubed plus x squared y plus y cubed. Let's start term by term. Dito muna tayo kay x cubed. Kung mapansin natin, it is raised to 3. So, ang degree niya is 3. And then, for our second term, we have x squared y. Itong x squared natin, this is raised to 2. Meron siyang degree na 2. And then, meron tayong y. It is raised to 1. Kaya meron siyang degree na 1. So, this is x natin, degree 2, y is 1, kaya etong x squared y is also degree 3. And then, ang y cube natin is degree 3. So, since lahat ng terms natin all share the same degree, which is 3, we can say that our function has a homogeneous degree of 3. Then, another one, we have function of x and y, we have x squared plus xy plus y squared. So, ngayon, si x raised to 2, so degree of 2, x merong 1, y meron ding 1, so this is degree of 2 also, kasi tig-isa sila, and then si y squared, this is raised to 2, so this is also degree of 2. So since lahat ng term is on degree 2, we can say that our function is homogeneous of degree 2. And then lastly, we have function of x and y, meron naman tayong apat na terms, so yung x natin is raised to 4, so eto ay x cubed 3, and then merong isa si y, so this is also 4, x natin is 1, merong 3 si y, so this is also 4. And then y to the 4th, meron tayong degree of 4. So lahat ng terms share the same degree, so this is a homogeneous with degree 4. So when it comes to polynomials, madaling makita kung yung terms ba natin ay homogeneous. For example, etong part na to is just x squared lang, wala yung y dito. This is degree 3, this is degree 3. Kaso nga lang, yung term natin sa gitna will be degree 2. So, this term, kapag kawala si y, this is not a homogeneous polynomial. Kasi for this method, kailangan yung equation natin ay homogeneous. Kapag hindi siya homogeneous, then we cannot use this method. Kailangan pa natin maghanap ng ibang way para masolve natin yung ating differential equation. So, again, ang concern lang natin ay homogeneous equation. So, we have to test first if our equation is really homogeneous. Bago tayo makaproceed sa ating susunod na steps. Not all the time, polynomials yung given. Kasi kapag ka ganito, kita mo agad. So, let us define what are homogeneous functions. A function of x and y is said to be homogeneous of degree k. So, meron tayong degree. Kung ano yung degree ng ating homogeneous function in x and y if it can be written in the form nito. So, we have function of lambda x, lambda y is equal to lambda raised to k times the function of x and y. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagawin lang natin, we have a function of x and y, lahat ng x, gagawin natin lambda x, lahat ng y, gagawin natin lambda y, and then, if our function is homogeneous, dapat na-isolate natin yung original function natin, and then, mailalabas natin si lambda, Then, nakaray siya sa certain exponent natin na k. And then, yung k na yun, this k, this is our degree. So, ito yung form na kailangan natin ma-achieve for us to say that our function is homogeneous. And ito rin yung kailangan natin for us to proceed with our solution ng ating differential equation. Now, let us try para mas makita natin kung paano siya gawin. Let's start with our polynomial function. So, sabi ko nga, ito obvious. Pero, let us try doing it. So, we have function of x and y. So, ang gagawin natin, function of lambda x, lambda y. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng x magiging lambda x. So, this is lambda x cubed. Then, si x squared, yung x ay naging lambda x and then squared. Si y, naging lambda y. So, this is y times lambda y. Plus, yung y natin again, lambda y cubed. Then, we simplify. Using loss of exponent, we can say that this is lambda cubed x cubed. Kasi ang operation between them is multiplication. Lambda x squared. So, this is lambda squared x squared times lambda y. And same here, this is lambda cubed y cubed. Then, ang magagalaw pa lang naman natin is etong part na. So, we have lambda squared and then lambda. This will become 
lambda cube, so nahiwalay na si x squared and then si y. So, we can factor out, lahat sila ay merong lambda cube. So, I can factor out lambda cube. So, we have lambda cube, x cube plus x squared y plus y cube. Kaso nga lang, kung mapansin nyo, eto, this is our original equation. So, this is function of x and y. So, I will be substituting function of x and y dito sa part na to kasi they are the same. So, this is lambda cube function of x and y. So, na-represent natin si function of lambda x, lambda y as lambda raised to a certain exponent and then times the function of x and y. So, we can say that our function is homogeneous and ano yung degree? So, this is raised to k. So, yung exponent dito 3, this is our degree. So, this is a function that is homogeneous at degree 3. So, depende na to sa instructor ninyo. If obvious naman, kagaya nito na polynomial na homogeneous siya, you may proceed with the next step. Pero, if required na kailangan ipakita yung proof na homogeneous siya, kailangan yung dumaan dito sa process na to. But, not all functions ay obvious na homogeneous. For example, we have function of x and y is equal to x squared plus 3xy all over x minus 2y. Then, gawin natin siya na function of lambda x, lambda y. Lahat ng x, gawing lambda x. And then, lahat ng y, gawin natin lambda y. So, lahat ng y dito, so this is lambda y, this is lambda y. And then, we simplify, this becomes lambda squared, x squared, so this is 3 times, dalawa yung lambda, so this is lambda squared times xy all over, eto naman, lambda x to lambda y. So, for this part, ano pa yung pwede natin i-factor out? Sa numerator at sa denominator, meron tayong pwedeng gawin. So, common sa numerator si lambda squared, sa denominator, common naman si lambda. So, we factor out, we have lambda squared times, ang natira ay si x squared, tsaka si 3xy, and then sa denominator, natira ay si x, tsaka si 2y. So, x minus 2y dito. And then, we can divide. So, lambda squared divided by lambda. So, this is just lambda raised to 1. So, nilagyan ko siya ng raised to 1 kasi para mas makita agad natin may may degree. And then, we have an natira ay si x squared plus 3xy all over x minus 2y. This is our original function. This is function of x and y. So, our function of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda raised to 1. And then, eto function of x and y. So, we can say that our function na reduce natin into this form, lambda raised to a certain exponent times our function of x and y, this is homogeneous at degree 1. Then, for our third one, we have function of x and y is equal to e raised to xy plus y squared. So, same process. So, this is the function of lambda x, lambda y. Lahat ng x magiging lambda x, lahat ng y magiging lambda y. Then, we simplify itong part na to. For this part, unahin na natin si lambda. So, this is lambda e raised to lambda x y. And then, eto, this becomes lambda squared and then y squared. So, ngayon, anong pwede natin gawin? We can factor out ano yung common. In this part, meron tayong lambda. Factoring that out, we have lambda. Ang natira sa loob ay e raised to lambda x and then si y. Tapos, eto, nabawasan siya ng isa. So, this becomes lambda y squared. Kaso, kailangan natin siyang ibalik dito sa form na to, function of x and y. Meron pa tayong lambda dito sa exponent, meron pa tayong lambda dito. So, what can we do para maibaba siya? We can use ln, kaso pag nag-ln tayo, magagalaw yung equation natin. So, we have to look for other ways para mawala dito si lambda and then si lambda rin dito. Ma-factor out sila or mawala siya dito sa terms na to. Kaso nga lang, wala na tayong algebraic manipulation na pwedeng gawin to do that. So, we can say that this function is not homogeneous. If this will be a differential equation, pagka nagka-dx and dy na tayo, gagawa na tayo ng ibang paraan, ibang methods para masolve siya. Hindi siya kaya ng solving for the solution ng DE ng homogeneous functions. So now let's try, yung susunod natin example, we have function of x and y is equal to ln of x over y minus e raised to x over y. So medyo tricky, may ln, tsaka may e tayo. So, we have to test kung ito nga ba ay isang homogeneous function. First, yung x natin at y, gawin natin lambda x at lambda y. So, this becomes lambda x over lambda y minus lambda x all over lambda y. 
then we simplify. Kung kapansin natin, pareho silang merong lambda, both sa numerator and denominator. So, we can divide. Ang mangyayari, babalik tayo dun sa original natin na ln of x over y minus e raised to x over y. Kasi, they are the same. We can divide them. So, matitira na lang ay yung x over y both dito sa una at pangalawang term natin. Since bumalik tayo dun sa function of x and y, kailangan natin ng lambda raised to a certain k para masabi natin na ito ay homogeneous. But we can put it this way. We can put lambda raised to 0. Kasi ano ba ang lambda raised to 0? This is just equal to 1. So pareho lang siya dito. So we were able to retain etong part na to. So this is function of x and y. And then we have our lambda raised to certain k dun sa ating labas. So, our function of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda raised to 0. And then, etong part na to, this is function of x and y. So, our equation is homogeneous at degree 0. Pwedeng mangyari yun. Kasi, we follow the form. Ito naman yung form natin. Eh. So, we have lambda raised to k times function of x and y. So, that's it for our fourth example. Now, for our last one, we have to check kung homogeneous to. We have function of x and y is equal to the square root of x minus y. Same process, lahat ng x gawing lambda x, lahat ng y gawing lambda y. Then, simplify, factor out natin si lambda x, so this becomes lambda times x minus y. Ang kailangan lang natin ay square root of x minus y. But, properties, radicals, ang operation nila is multiplication, we can separate them. So, this is the square root of lambda, times the square root of x minus y. So, gawin na lang natin to into its exponential form kasi yung square root of x minus y is already equal to the function of x and y. So, pareho na siya dito. Then, this becomes lambda raised to 1 half. So, you have lambda raised to a certain k and then this is your function of x and y. So, we have here, our equation is homogeneous in degree 1 over so, pwede yun. We can have homogeneous functions with degrees of 0 and 1 half. Now that we have tested kung yung function natin yung homogeneous, ngayon, let us go with the steps in solving homogeneous differential equations. Kasi yun yung concern natin. We are testing kung homogeneous siya so that we can apply this method. Una, if you are given with ADE, i-rewrite muna natin siya in the form m of x and y dx plus n of x and y dy is equal to 0. So, yung m, function of x and y, kasama ni dx, yung n, function ni x and y, kasama ni dy is equal to 0. So, this is a first order differential equation. Kapag nare-write na natin into this form, our next step is we have to test if our d is homogeneous. Ito yung ginagawa natin kanina. If nakita natin na homogeneous na si de, then for our third step, we let x be equal to vy kapag yung m of x and y is simpler. Kapag ka mas madali ito, mas simple, si m of x and y, ang gawin natin, we let yung x natin as equal to v times y. And then, kapag ito naman yung mas simple, ang gagawin natin, yung kasama ni dy, we let y be equal to vx. Then of course, dahil binago natin siya, nag-introduce tayo ng ating bagong variable which is v, then we take its derivative. Applying product rule of differentiation, we have dx is equal to copy the first v, derivative ng second dy, plus copy the second y, times derivative of the first, then that is dv. Kaya siya naging dx is equal to v dy plus y dv. Same here sa pangalawa, so this is dy is equal to v dx plus copy the second x dv. Then isubstitute natin siya dun sa ating original na differential equation. Once we substitute that, we will be simplifying our equation at ang kagandahan kapag ginawa natin either of the two, yung equation natin will be separable. So what we are doing is yung homogeneous differential equation natin, if we apply this, it will become separable. If separable na sila, then we can solve for the solution by integrating both sides of the equation. So, ito yung steps natin para makapag-solve tayo ng homogeneous differential equations. Music